Hey guys, how you guys? It's your girl, the real true divine feminine, and I come with a quick little message for you guys. And my message to you guys is, um, you gotta learn how to love who you love. If nobody's not appreciating you where you going or showing you love, you need to go ahead and stop putting yourself second and putting somebody else first for you. Love is an equal give and take. Anybody can love you for your money. Anybody can love you because of your status, but who going to love you when you at your worst? Never be with someone when you sick, you know they're not going to take care of you. Never be with someone who when the money run up, they're going to go on and go to somebody else. Y'all have to learn how to stop compromising yourself and, and, and feeling like you unworthy of true love because of what your family might think or what your friends may think. Go after who you want. Be with who you want to be with. Be who going to nurture on you, who going to care on you. If you fall sick right now, be with somebody who going to wipe your behind, who going to feed you and not have to have your mama, your sister, or your children with that burden. Be with someone who going to love you through the ups and the downs and the bads. Y'all got to stop getting with these folks who only want you because the money is good, the money up, you could take me on these trips, you going three, you gonna go work three, four, five, six, seven jobs to keep me happy and all the rest of this. That's a selfish ass person. And let me tell you something. Stop trying to love a self a selfish ass person or make a selfish ass person love you. Listen, stop being so a people pleaser where you so worried about somebody else going what somebody else gonna say about you leaving a circumstances or a situation or what somebody else gonna say is because you putting your happiness on the line let me tell you something people gonna talk about you regardless you heard me regardless if you think they ain't talking right now laughing at you right now while you staying stuck in a situation where you're not happy you a damn fool because i guarantee you Everybody talking about your situation where you ain't happy, where you being mistreated, where you not being nurtured, where you being only there for the money, where you doing all the rest of this and doing all the rest of this. They talking about you already. They going to talk. That's what people going to do. And the reason why they talking, because you dealing with somebody who's running their mouth and telling what you and them got going on and telling, oh, I don't want them. I'm only with them for the money. Oh, I get every trip I want to go on. I get to do this. He bragging, oh, she buy me all kind of cars. She do this and she do me that. You don't need nobody like that. You need somebody that's going to love on you. I'm talking about I'm talking about you laying in the bed. You need a woman that's going to rub your feet, that's going to caress your, massage your fingers, caress your legs, rub your hair, grease your scalp. A woman that's going to cover you while you laying on her. The whole time you laying on her, she not on the phone gossiping with her friends, but she praying over her man. A man that's going to carry you in the spirit. A man that's going to see that you've been uh, taking care of the kids in the house all day that's gonna rub your back rub your feet tell you he love you a man that's gonna pray over you carry you in the spirit see y'all be out here y'all be playing y'all be playing with playing for keeps with people who ain't even worthy of you because you so worried about what society say are you so worried about what your mama gonna say you worried about what your daddy gonna say or what your family gonna say be who you want to be. Love on who you want to love with. Be who you want to be with. I don't care who it is. Whether they fat, crippled, blind, whatever the circumstances or situation may be. Love on who you love on. Love who going to nurture and cater to you. Because I promise you, let me tell you something. You got to learn how to start testing people. There's a lot of women out here that's not after a man's money. But, we, but after your heart. There's a lot of... Men out here that's not only want what a woman got between her legs, but want, want somebody who could they can who they can bond with, spend quality time with, who they can nurture, who's compatible to them. You understand what I'm saying? Anybody, I'll tell you some women, ladies. I'm gonna tell y'all some. Never sell yourself short, cause guess what? Any man can take you on a trip to shut your mouth. Any man that can throw you money, they can do all that. But a man that covers you in the spirit. But that a man that's bold enough to go before the throne of God on your behalf, that's a man that's for you. Y'all be out here wasting your time with people. People that's not even worthy of your time selling your own self short. Don't sell yourself short of nothing. You know what it is and what it ain't it, what it ain't with you. People's going to talk regardless. So make sure you live in your life to the fullest. Stop being people pleasers. I don't give, man, stop worried about what people say. You know, let me tell you something. That's one thing that it talks about in the Bible about being a people pleaser. You ain't no yes woman or no yes man. Stop being a people's pleaser.
thing. You pleasing somebody else who's not pleasing you. You're not getting no emotional support. You're not getting no love. You're not getting no none of that. You understand what I'm saying? You got to go outside and get that. You can't even get no affection inside of your own household. But they want to go on trips. But they want this lavish lifestyle. But they want this money. But they want all this. Nah, that's not what we doing, baby. That's not what we doing. You are so much worthy of much more. Ladies, he want to drive your car. He want to do all this. He want to do all that. But he's not showing you no love and no affection. Let it go. Baby, let it go. I don't care how long y'all been together. 10, 20, 35, 13, 12, 14, 15. Y'all could been together two years, two months, six days, six hours. Baby, let it go. If it ain't bringing you no peace, let it go. Why would I ever, ever stay with somebody that I'm not getting no peace? Well, you're not recognizing me. You don't even know when something wrong with me. You're not even paying attention to me because you're so selfish and worried about you, 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 you. You can't focus on me because you're too busy worried about what your homegirl got going on. Or you too busy focus about this and focus about that. You focus about what you going to wear, how much of my money you can spend, how much money I got in my account. You worried about all that, but you're not worried about loving on me. Ladies, y'all need to pay attention to y'all men because if y'all don't, somebody else will. Men stress just like us women stress. A man, a man that love you and care about you, he would do any. When I say anything, I mean anything for him. Anything for you. But do he get that in return? No. He get walked on. He get talked about. He be belittled because he can't do what he used to do for you. Just as well as you women think y'all some prizes, these men some prizes too. Don't never get it twisted. But y'all got to stop learning to stop being people pleasers. Because guess what? Yeah, your mama might have knew you and Susan to be together for all these years. But your mama, when you find your happiness and your mama see that you happy, your mama going to accept Bethany. Yeah, your daddy and Rob may be click tight. You heard me? They might be best of the best of the best of the friends. But when you leave Rob and go with Steve, your daddy going to love Steve too. But you know why? Because they love you. They love you. And once a parent see that their child is really loved and really happy, their parent is going to support their child. A true parent will support their child. So, I don't know who this message is for. I don't know who needs to hear this. It's not about what you got in your bank account. It's not about what you could provide with somebody. It's about how somebody love and nurture on you. You should always want to be with somebody who's going to love and nurture on you. As women, as mothers, when we give away our sons, we want a woman who's going to treat our sons the way we treat them. Who's going to love our sons when they're sick. Who's going to take care of them. Who's going to cook for them. Who's going to clean for them. Who's going to be there for them. You're not, being, you're not being that slave. You're being their helpmate. Who's going to pray for them? Because us as, us as mothers, we cover our children. We pray over our children. So we want our children's spouses to be able to cover, to pray for them. We want our children to marry someone who's going to be able to respect them. If you're in a relationship right now and it's all about the money and what you can do for them and where they can go, that is a selfish individual. Reevaluate yourself and see which part of you are selfish. Because a lot of times when, when you've been with somebody who's selfish and not unconsiderate or whatever, it starts to trigger stuff in you and you start treating other people the way that you were treating. You started projecting yourself upon them. Your, your insecurities, your all the rest of that. Heal yourself. I keep telling y'all, if you're watching this channel, baby, we healing over here. We don't care what we've been through. We healing over here. We going, we walking head, hell high through every storm, every valley, every, what you call them. But we healing and we putting that stuff behind us. You know why? Because we're not trauma bonding with anybody, but we loving on everybody. We're showing our children how it is to be loved, how it is to be happy, and how it is to be at peace. Even if you got to be alone by yourself for a while we're still being at peace and we still being happy don't let nobody steal your peace don't let nobody steal your joy and don't be out here people pleasing for nobody but do what's best for you if your heart is pulling on you 
to be with somebody else. If your heart is tugging on you to go and, and be with somebody else, go do that. Stop worrying about what people say. You want to know why? You got one life to live. Live it to the fullest. No guilt, no shame, and no regrets. Because let me tell you something. Somebody that's really for you, really, really for you, is going to really support you. Sometimes us as people have to fail to realize sometimes we make a man better for the next woman sometimes we make a a woman better for the next man it's all about the seasons in our life and guess what maybe the season is up with me and you have going on i wish you well no hurt no pain no nothing go find your happiness and i want to find and i want to find my happiness because staying stuck and stagnant somewhere where you are unhappy because you are a people pleaser and you so worried about what somebody else is going to talk or will say about you, that is not what's up. I'm telling you. And the reason why I'm telling you guys this is, is because this. You need to know people pleasing is never okay. You don't want to live your life in no regrets. You be 40, 50, 60, 70 year old thinking, dang, you know what? I should have went over. I should have married Bethany. I should have married Steve. I should have left this situation where I wasn't happy, where I wasn't being treated, and I should have went over there and got loved on, got nurtured on, got rubbed on, got touched, got poured into. You understand? I should. I'm always. I'm always the one pouring out my cup, but ain't nobody filling my cup in. And ladies, y'all gotta start filling y'all man cup in, and fellas, you gotta start filling your ladies cup in. If they always pouring into you and pouring into you, man, take the time pouring out to them. Like you know what? Let me surprise my man with some clothes, some cologne, some something to tell him I appreciate him. I appreciate you, ladies. Tell your man you appreciate what they do—the good, the bad, the ugly, or whatever. Because a lot of you women, y'all tear y'all man down when they're at their lowest. You don't do that to no man. You never kick a man when you die. Because when he down. Because if you do, you're going to damage him. You're going to hurt him. He's going to feel like everybody going to do that. Everybody going to do that. Some of you women, y'all be knowing what y'all be doing. Y'all try to damage a man so he don't go to the next. And if he go to the next, she don't live a better lifestyle than you. But what you fail to realize is that what's for you is for you. And what's for that person is for that person. Learn to stop being selfish and learn to stop pe being a people pleaser. Always be true to who you are and always love who you are. I don't care. Listen, I do not care, y'all, what nobody say about me. They can all kiss my, you know what? I don't care because I'm still going to do what I want to do because I'm truthful to me. And I had to, listen, I didn't get this way overnight. I had to go through trials and tribulations in my life to get me where I am now. That I could stand and I could say, I don't give a damn how you feel, how you feel, how you feel. I'm going to do me. And that's how I had to get. And a lot of you guys, y'all need to get like that. Don't worry about what nobody say or how nobody feel. Be the best version of you. Be you. Be true to you. Because we in a world full of fake snakes and jakes. You heard me? long as you don't ever be a fake snake jake to yourself, always be true for the you. Always love on you, always respect you and honor you. And if somebody you with or dealing with can't respect you, love you and honor you, they not for you. I don't know who this message is for and I don't need to hear it. I don't know who needs to hear it. But it's your girl, the real true divine feminine. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.